Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do the animation in frame by frames. So what I've done is I've opened up this original painting. This is the background, so file open. Now, I always want to have this as a kind of a background, just have that copy. So I'm going to do Command J. So I've got that. I can turn the eyeball off on that, so I don't have to worry about that right now. What I want to do is animate her and have her um, move around. Now, what I'm going to do is use my quick select tool, and I want to make sure I've got that one to start. I'm going to kind of get her selected. Now, there's obviously other ways that you can select and, and refine, and you can do stuff like that and come back and detail and that kind of thing. Okay, so let's just say that I did an awesome job here. All right, so I've got this. If I do Command J, notice what's going to happen in my layers area over here because I've got Justice selected. So I do Command J and it just selects her. So if I turn this eyeball off, it's just got her. So which means that I've got her as a separate layer. But what I want to do, I'm going to turn her off and I'm going to turn this one back on. I need to uh, mask this out. So this is where we use that clone stamp tool. And we use the clone stamp, and that's when I do option, and then I can hit, oops, see I'm on the wrong layer. That's why it didn't work. I'm going to click there. I'm going to do option, click, and I'm going to start kind of painting out her head. This is that curtain area right there. Remember, I'm letting go a lot because I, I want to kind of get that detail in really good. It memorizes. Every time you let go on the keypad here, it memorizes where you were. So option click, I, I want to do option click a lot too because that kind of helps you kind of get a little bit more natural. Here I want to show you um, what it looks like after this has all been masked out. And I'm going to click over to something Olivia did here. Now she made that separate layer. I'm going to turn that off and notice that this her background, it's completely masked out. So that is like separate so that you can move anything across this area and you, all you did was take out your object that you want to move. So I'm going to click on that layer because this is what I want to do. I'm going to hit Command J and then I can move it a little bit. Command J, I can move it a little bit. So um, I could also do something like if I hover out here, I can kind of lean it a little bit, hit return, Command J, and move it a little bit. Okay. So if you want to see what this looks like, we've got all of these separate frames here. I'm going to go up to my window and I'm going to choose animation. And it should be in your animation frames area. If you don't see that, the little box right here will fix that for you. And then there's this little hidden thing. Remember, that's so ridiculous, you can't see it. So I'm going to click on that, make frames from layers. Okay, so now notice here you can see this frames from layers, but you can't see the background on that. So I'm going to click this on and that'll show it. Now this first frame always kind of shows this background and we really don't care about that. So I'm just going to have that and click trash. I'm going to hit um, and here you can see it can hit yes. Okay, so now I'm going to hit um, I probably have to do the same thing with this one too. It looks like. Um, so I'm going to hit trash on that one also because that was our first one that we masked out. Okay, so if I hit play, you can see it moved really fast. Now if I click one and I click the last one when I am hold the shift key down, notice that they're all selected, shift key. So I click on this and I'm going to make it like one or a split, you know, two seconds. So it changed everything all at once. So when I hit play, it's a little bit slower. It's not you know, it's perfect, whatever, but it's pretty good. Now, here is another option for you. So that I've got this thing moving. Now that's just a few things and we can go and loop this, you know, and that kind of thing later. But I'm going to come over here. Now this is actually um, a piece of artwork that was done by a very famous artist whose name is Edvard Munch. Um, you may know him by the painting called The Scream. So, um, now this is not at the Art Institute of Chicago, but wouldn't it be funny if it showed up in one of his paintings? So if I were to take this, what I'm going to do is, so I'm 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure this is selected and I'm going to select, I could just do the head if I wanted to, but I may end up using some other parts, I don't know. And I'm going to do minus here. And so I'm going to kind of come in here and get this selected. Okay, so wouldn't this be funny if I moved it into the other picture? So I'm going to get my move tool. I've got this little thing that's selected. I'm going to pull this out, pick it up, pull it, pull it down. Okay, now I'm going to pull this in right here, right? And so what I want to do is I'm actually going to do something where I'm going to um, maybe make this, I don't know, hover in her window or something ridiculous as she walks up to it. All right, so it's in this layer here. I'm going to actually hit return here, and I'm going to call this um, scream so I know what I'm looking at. Okay, so when I make a copy, I know it. Because this one I should have probably named like girl or something like that. That would have made sense. Okay, so I've got my little scream guy here. Okay, and what I could do is I'm going to I'm going to hit Command J. All right, so I've got like another layer, right? Um, what I could do is now I can kind of have him move down like he's getting scared, and then I can take my eraser and I can take I'm gonna make the right eraser here, and I'm going to kind of erase where he hits the the window area kind of thing like this, okay? And then I'm going to Command J again, and I'm going to pick this up, and I'm going to move him a little bit further down, like like she's scaring him or something. Oops, wrong, wrong selection there. Okay, there we go. And kind of come in here. Ooh, you know what I'm noticing? Look at what I've got here. My opacity was only at 71%. I want to erase this fully. No wonder that didn't look quite correct. All right, let me fix that up there. Let me come back to this one because I'm going to turn the eyeball off on here so I can see it. All right, this fixes things a little bit. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense now. Okay, so I made a couple things and then maybe Command J again and pick them up and move them down even more so just the little tip of his head is showing at this point and I will hit my eraser and just it goes right up to the edge of that window there. Okay, so I've got him. He's in the window, right? Um, now, what I might want to consider, like he just like randomly shows up because remember, this is going to kind of be in order. So you've got her moving towards the window and all of a sudden Scream is in the window. Um, another option is to have him and her in the same frame and to do a move for each of them at the same time. But just for the purposes of time, I just wanted to kind of show you this. So I'm going to pick up this, and I really don't care about this anymore. So I'm going to click on all these. I held my shift key down. I'm going to trash them, so I don't really care. Delete the frames. Yes, I'm going to delete the frames. Okay, so I really don't care about that right now. And I've made all those extra layers up there, so I'm going to click on that. I'm going to make frames from layers. Right, it's got all that. There's my little scream guy in there as well. All right. Now notice we don't have that background. I'm going to make sure background is selected. And remember my first one, I can never see anything, so I'm going to trash that. And I'm going to press yes, I'm going to trash that. This second one doesn't have anything either, so I'm going to trash that. Trash that. Okay, let's see. So this is it. I'm going to hit play. Ah! Okay, ridiculously too fast. Select them all. Hold the shift key down. Hit this. All right, let's try it again. Okay, so definitely probably could have done some things better. Obviously, you can see I did not cut off things at the right spot. But you guys get the idea. So you can transform a few things, have a little bit of fun with it. And oh, okay. So, so now let's say I really wanted to merge like these two. I want them in the same thing. I'm actually going to pick up my scream here. I want to move him so he's like in a different spot. Okay. So maybe I wanted him in the window, but then I wanted him in the window at the same time she's there. Notice the eyeball's on at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my command key down, and I'm going to make sure that I've got this layer chosen and this layer chosen. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do command E. What that does, it merges them. Now make sure the eyeball is on for both of them. Okay. 
So now these turn on and off. They're both in the same layer now. If I wanted to, I'm like, oh, I made a mistake. I wish I could fix that. Well, first of all, I can always grab my eraser and erase something if I messed up. Or I could also take my lasso tool and I can lasso him, pick up the move tool and move him. Okay, let's see if we can stretch him, whatever. Okay, and deselect. So they're in the same layer at this point. So something you might want to think about in the beginning because you can actually Command J this and then move them.